the Layers tab. The Layers tab consists of two subtools, Layer Selection tool and the Tile Stamp tool. Inside of here we have a image thumbnail, the currently selected tile, as well as controls for its width, height, and rotation. In addition to that, we also have a color picker to adjust the color of the selected image. All images created by SmiteWorks that should be used in the Tiles tab as the Tile subtext. If we type in as something along the lines of a stone tile, all images uh, related to stonework and the tile system will come up. One of the differences between the painted images and the tiled images is tiled images can have attached to it metadata, including lighting and line of sight. Images used in this way can either be dragged and dropped into the workspace or loaded into the preview tab and with the stamp tool selected can now be placed anywhere one clicks. The default size of the image is set by its metadata and can be adjusted and remembered by the system as well as its rotation and flipping any sort of vertical or horizontal axis. This can be reset by the click of the reset button, putting it back to its original context and orientation. Also, we have a relative grid snap button, which will either allow us to snap it or unsnap it to the grid. This can also be achieved by holding control, which will allow us a smooth transition and holding control and rotating the image will allow us to rotate it freely without it snapping to 45 degree increments. Switching to the layer selection tool, each image that I select will then be appropriately selected in the layers tab. Once a layer is selected, we can then adjust any information about this layer, its opacity, color variations, its rotation, its location, as well as the order in which these are displayed. These can be displayed behind or in front of, depending on this order. Selecting all of these, we can simply uh, hit the delete button, or we could just hit delete on our keyboard. Any tile that has metadata attached to it, that includes lighting or line of sight, will be demonstrated or will have an icon that displays whether or not that information is present. For example, this tile has with it line of sight. If we go into the Line of Sight tab, we will see all of the walls and all of the creations inside of this based off of the metadata that is attached to the image. Going back to the Layers tab, moving this around, we can move this around and all of that attached information will be maintained to the image itself. We can grab another image. If this tile has any of that information attached to it, it will be displayed here. Again, we can go back to our line of sight and see that all of that information is maintained inside of the image itself. If an image containing metadata of line of sight or lighting and is interacted in the Layers tab, all of that information will also be adjusted by the layer itself. For example, if I were to take this element that has with it some line of sight or attached occluders to the image itself, and the image is flipped either horizontally, vertically, or rotated, all of that information will also be 
updated to the images orientation and therefore maintain all of the line of sight and lighting data as you would expect. Again, an image can be dragged in, one that contains relevant information. This layer can now be moved around, rotated, flipped, and so on, even adjusted in size, and has all of that information maintained relative to the image itself.